this team is a favorite no matter where they go. Their niceness, their personality off of the ice really carries them through every competition. They just missed that Axel. They've moved to the University of Delaware and it's been such a wonderful move because they're able to use all the training facilities there and all the expertise of the professors and the doctors and it's really helped them out a lot. I think that it's focused them well on what's to come in the future. Certainly some new and varied training techniques and safe to say the move to the University of Delaware under the tutorship of Rod Ludington and the Seabolds are picking up more of the Soviet training techniques. That's right, they sure are. They're using science a lot more. They've also changed the time of day that they skate. They can now skate on normal hours during the daytime rather than in the middle of the night as pair skaters and dancers have done so much in the past. This is a lovely, daring lift. A variation on a star lift. Seabold, they were third after the original, the short program. And let's go down and see how Natalie and Wayne think they do. Misha. 
Well, listen, I have to tell you, did that music inspire you at the end of the program? It sure did. It really did. It was good. The only mistake was a double axle. Well, the other thing was the, the throw triple loop, a very difficult maneuver, the demise of many a pair team, in fact, even in this competition, it was beautiful. Thank you. It's the best one I've ever done. So, Is it? Yeah. You've been working on it? Well, a short program, the top Soviet couple, Natalia Mikushinov and Artur Dmitriev. The interesting thing about this team, Jim, is they're so flexible. They, uh, they obviously have some kind of gymnastics background or something because they're so flexible. Their bodies just bend and move. 